It's a moment of calm for Maria and her family. After waiting weeks for their visas to be processed and after a grueling journey from Kyiv to Warsaw, her sister Valerie and nephews Misha and Martin arrived in Aberdeen last weekend. Watching TV news and watching and watching and watching and thinking, is it a reality or it's just that horrible nightmare? And at, at last we, we got my daughter and, and my grandchildren here and it's just such a relief. It didn't feel real, like, up until the moment that I saw them coming out of the airport doors. I just kept thinking something might go wrong. Valerie worked as an image consultant for a Ukrainian news station. She had to leave her dream job and her partner behind. Uh, left Kiev on the second day of the war. Because Kiev is not really um, a safe, a safe, not safety safe. place. We just go <laughs> without anything. But we are alive, it's uh, mainly. Sergei Rulogovsky travelled to Warsaw to help his family complete the visa process so they could join him in Peterhead. It's the first time they've been to Scotland. His parents-in-law have been married for 50 years. They left the Kharkiv region with the clothes on their back and some documents. Yeah. They feel a lot better because things are on a slower pace now. They, they don't have to run. Um, they, no, they can sit down, chill out, walk towards the sea. His younger sister Ina has also joined them with her 12-year-old son Vladislav. He's now just started at the local school. He was very nervous going to school because he didn't think anyone would speak to him. But there was lots of children, so he's starting to make friends. I feel safe here. I like the weather and the nature. Sergei is setting up a charity to help those caught up in the conflict. There is a barrier between Ukrainian people who are trying to escape a war and never thought they will ever come to Britain, therefore never learn a language. People need some sort of certainty that when they go, go somewhere, they will be able to sustain their kids, they'll be able to look after them, there'll be um, accommodation, there'll be a school. Although now miles away from the war, their home country is never too far away in their minds. Wants to go home. Really hard. No matter what, wants to go home. I, I cried <laughs> and my boys said me, Mama, stop, Mama, stop, but okay, I, <laughs> I will try, but it's uh, very sad. Hilly Bomber, STV News.